Hey people, my name's Imp and I'm from the channel Black Talon Gaming. And I'm here giving you a mini playthrough and a small review of Starpoint Gemini 2. Before we go any further, I just want to say I've never played the first Starpoint Gemini. And in all honesty, I've got less than 20 hours on this game so far. So it's pretty early for me to have my opinion decided. But it is what it is. I've already made up my mind on this game based upon what I've seen from it. And really, you don't need 20 hours to decide if a game is worth buying or not. So you're going to be my co-pilots on a small playthrough. And you're going to be able to see the gameplay before I give you, you know, any idea of what I think. That way I'm not poisoning the well. You'll be able to see it and decide on your own whether this game is something you want to buy. Or perhaps, you know, I don't know, wait for Starpoint Gemini 3 or whatever they do. Um... Yeah, so without further ado, you guys are going to be the co-pilots on the USS Stomp Your Face. And we're going to go ahead and start this thing off, man. Alright, let's see. Uh, free roam campaign. Yeah, there's a story mode. Wasn't really feeling it. Don't really care. Let's go free roam. Alright, look at his face. That's the dude. That's us, man. Or it could be us. That, that, some chick with some crazy face tattoos. Some fat dude with an eye. Space Viking. This is cool, man, dude. He looks like a Space Viking. Because that's, that's exactly who would be on board the USS Stomp Your Face. Is some Space Vikings. And his name's Valdir because it's an awesome freaking name. All right. So let's go ahead and do next. Okay. And call this... Can't name it. All right, so we're in the middle of it, and I'm gonna go ahead and change our view because there we go. All right, so this is like this is a throwback to um, you know some older games like Freelancer and stuff like that. I'm really not too up on this genre. In all honesty, there was that new science fiction movie with Matt Damon coming out. And I thought, hey, man, I like Matt Damon, so I'm going to go see it. So I thought, hey, you know what? Maybe the first games I review on this channel should be some science fiction games. Uh, so I've got a couple lined up, and this is the first of them. All right, so you start out in a single ship. Uh, in our case, I think I chose a Squire or something like that. And the whole thing is... In free in freeform mode, you're gonna go around and you're gonna do a lot of trading between stations. And while you're going from station to station, you're gonna be picking out missions on the stellar map. And as it is a freeform game, there's really no like set objective or anything. I guess I guess your objective is to make a ton of money. So let's go ahead and see what some of the combat uh, the combat's about. So let's go here and do this. Hostiles confirmed in sensor radius. All right, lady. Yes, sir. Engine set to maximum power. Combat really is point and click. Uh, right mouse button fires your turret weapon, and you can fire heavy weapons like the missiles you saw with the X button. There's nothing really innovative about the combat, and you know what? Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do the little playthrough, and you know, then I'll tell you my opinion at the very end. So where the hell? I just saw it, dude. Where was it? Is that it? A 
Affirmative. Setting course. Yes, sir. Engine set to maximum power. You're going to want to do all these missions as you go across. They give you faction standing and all sorts of good stuff, so why not? Plus it's... Communications report heavy long-range chatter. New missions are available. All right, new missions, whatever. Oops. You can run into the planet, it will kill you. Uh, it's really not fun though. It's not even a good graphic for being destroyed when you run into a planet. New waypoint confirmed. Transferring all available power to engines. gonna go kill this person and explore the nearby sectors so you can get a feel for how exploration in this map uh, or in this game goes affirmative engines on overdrive caution we are on a collision course with the planet. All right, lady, whatever. Shut up. Executing PTE protocols. Hostiles confirmed in sensor radius. Affirmative. Engines on overdrive. Try to hit. 
get this other hex right by it. Transferring all available power to engines. Communications report heavy long range pattern. New missions are available. Ah, oh, dude, what the hell did I do? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that mission because that's in this uh, hex, this sector, or whatever. Dude, I know it's to my left, so why is it that? Oh, it's because. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. See, I was upside down. Transferring all available power to engines. Transferring all available power to engines. I don't get why they put a gravity pool, because uh, it's not like the rest of the game is any, in any way, shape, or form realistic. So. Sensors are picking up hostiles in the vicinity.